everyone, it's your girl Havana Sims. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Sims 4 video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you five room ideas just messing around with the new platform feature. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen a ton of videos using the platforms and what they can do. So hopefully I am showing you five new ways that you can use the platform. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first is this bathroom. Now, these rooms won't be, like, complete. They won't be cluttered. This is just to show you what you can do. And, yeah, I think that this is really cute. As you can see, the tub is on the platform. And then you have these things here from uh, Eco Lifestyle that you can add there with the sink in the background. Like, you can really elevate literally <laughs> your bathroom and I just think that it looks really really good so yeah and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add each room that I show you guys um, just as a separate build on the gallery so that you're able to download it so the next room is this kids room um, mostly a boys room and I found while I was testing and this is like a little tip a little hack if you will if you place this wallpaper from Parenthood, it will um, serve as a sort of uh, ruler, if you will, for how high you can put the platforms in a room so that the Sims are able to go up top into it and do whatever it is they need to do. You definitely don't want to make it so high because they do need to be below the ceiling. But I find that using this wallpaper serves as a nice reminder of where you can stop and you can just stop right below this marker here but yeah this is a little boys room so you have their beds here and then up top here you can have desks um this could be a toddler room as well and you can put a little play area up here just something to snazz up the bedroom and yeah i think it works really really well the next is this office and as you can see here this could definitely fit into a little tiny home if you want this is where the bed will be and then you can sort of put the kitchen um, area over here and then put the living room over here you just have yourself a nice little tiny um, home so it's like an office slash bedroom type of situation um, it doesn't have to be an office up here. You could definitely have the kitchen up here if you wanted to. That would be really cute. But I just thought that just to show you guys how it would look with the office and the bed. This is really, really, really cute. Also, when you are messing with the platforms, I would say that it is best to use um, the little trim tool here. And to definitely use this one, the Painted Perfection. And I mostly had to use this white one here, but as you can see, there are a ton of colors that you can really get into that could complement whatever paint that you have on the wall. And I think that works out well. And if it's something that where, let's say your walls are white like it is here, and if you want to change it black, you could definitely do that so that it can stand out more. Like that would be really cute. And yeah, you could just go crazy with that. And of course, the rest of these, I would say um, that you can, you know, keep them outside. But unless you want that sort of industrial look, then you have like a lot of brick options here that would definitely look cute as well. So the next is like a whole house. And I left the, the walls down so it's easier for you guys to see. But this would be the front door, of course. And then this will be the bathroom over here. Again, just plain, just so I can show you guys. Um, a little mud room over here. And then how I have it, it's like you're stepping up every platform just to get to the bedroom that is back here. Very open planned. Um, if you want, you don't even have to have this bathroom here. You just have everything up against the wall. That way it's seamless. If you don't plan on ha having anybody else living here with a sim and you just have a single sim, you could definitely do that. Now this took, it didn't take a whole lot of time for me to do, but you definitely want to be careful when you're doing something like this. So let me just show you what I mean. So basically what you want, like I have here, is that you just want your plain base and then you build up from there. Um... 
I tried it the other way and I found that it really didn't work for me. So I'm going to place this one here and then I'm going to raise it up. And then what I did was I just sort of connected it like that and then just let it go like that and then just kept going and kept going and that's how you just end up with something like this. So you just have to finagle with it a little bit but once you get the hang of it you get beautiful results. Like, I love this room so much. Definitely a tiny home that I would want to live in. Plenty of space. And, yeah, the platforms just elevate everything. So the last room is like a living room slash dining room sort of situation. So we have the table here. And then we have a step up platform here that I just made as really the focal point for the whole room. I just have some extra platforms here just to decorate it with this table and this plan. Then you have some seating here. And then you step up into the living room. You have your couch here, your little table, TV, and then add another platform on top of that to create a sort of shelving unit right up against the window. And you can go crazy with it and add all these plants. I do have to say that I did not have to do any BB move objects for any of the rooms. So if that's something that you're not really used to like I am, then, you know, you're fine with this. I really don't use the whole move objects thing. I like to know what can actually fit. But once you put that on, you could definitely go crazy with something like this and add as many plants as possible. And it would just look really, 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 really cute. So yeah. I hope you guys did enjoy this. That is it from me. Again, just simple little touches that you can add to each room in your home. And it'll just look fabulous. So yeah, that's it from me, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope to see you in my next video. Alrighty, bye.